Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, we're going to be checking out a fantastic piece of freely available software called Darktable, which you can download for your Mac or Windows computer. Today, I'm going to show you some of the main features and talk a little bit about what you can use it for to help increase your productivity and be part of your photography workflow. First of all, what I love about it is you can actually connect your camera via cable to your computer and use Darktable as a tethering environment. So if you've ever done that before, it's essentially allowing you to take your photo and instantaneously see that photo appear on your computer, which is much better than seeing it on the tiny screen on the back of your camera. Beyond that, it has so many features and I'll give you a quick rundown of what else you can do with Darktable in this video. Let's go ahead and check it out. The first thing I'm gonna take a look at is tethering my Canon EOS R digital camera to my iMac, and I'm going to do so by connecting it via a USB cable. You'll also need the Canon EOS utility application, which is a free download from Canon's website. If you have a different camera brand, such as Sony, you'll need to go to their website and download the utility tools to allow your camera to go into tethering mode. The way Canon works, when you plug your camera in for the first time, the Canon utility software will pop up and you'll need to exit out of this before you can tether using dark table. To connect the camera, click on the mount camera option on the window on the top left hand corner and then select tethered shoot and your camera is now ready to go into tethered shooting mode. So you can either click on the camera button itself and that photo should then appear after a few seconds in the view area of dark table, or you can click on the software shutter button, which is situated on the right hand side in the camera settings section. Now I'm going to show you how to import your photos. You can import them directly from your camera. Once you have it connected, you can select the option to import images in the window on the top left hand side, or if you've already taken photos a while ago that you want to come back in and edit, you can add them from the folder on your computer by selecting the add to library option. They'll be imported and will appear as thumbnails in the middle of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on the small arrow in the middle of the screen at the top. And this will bring up the light table, dark room and other tabs on the top right hand corner of the screen. So when you first import your photos and you wanna organize them or export them out, you need to be in the light table tab. If you'd like to edit a photo, you'd go into the darkroom tab and the other tab is available to go into some advanced features, including tethering, which I showed you earlier on. Let's go ahead and edit one of the images and you'll see that when we click on the thumbnail, it will take us directly into the darkroom tab for that image. On the right hand side, you'll see a whole range of filters, which allows you to make non-destructive edits to your image. This means that all of the edits you make are being stored as data only so that you can always revert back to your original file. So with these filters, you can go and adjust the overall exposure, brightness and contrast, lens correction, most of the filters that you would normally use in programs such as Adobe Lightroom are available to enhance your image. And there's also an effects tab which allows you to add additional effects such as borders, vignetting and soft focus. If you click on the light table tab, this takes you back to the thumbnail preview mode of all of the images you imported. And as you roll over each image, you can mark your photos with a star rating system from one through to five. And this is a really useful feature when you're going through and organizing your images, deciding which ones you'd like to edit. To rate your photos, tap on the numbers one through to five on your keyboard to rate them accordingly. And then when you wanna see your starred photos, use the sort by feature to sort by star rating. If you'd like to export a single image, click on it, and then in the column on the right hand side, you can export your images out to disk and you can export them out to the most popular image format options, including JPEG, TIFF and PNG. If you'd like to export more than one image at a time, shift select the images and then click on the export option. If you'd like to select all images on your light table, click Command A on your keyboard, then select the export image option. So that's a quick run through of how to use Darktable. And if you've used Lightroom before, you'll probably notice there's a lot of similarities in terms of the interface and overall design. And this serves as a great productivity tool to add to your workflow when you're taking photos on your digital camera. 
Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. And if you're wondering why the camera has been moving from left to right during this video, it's because I've been using my YC Onion hot dog and a bun motorized slider, which provides this sliding effect. And if you wanna check out that video, I'll leave a link to the unboxing and review in the description box below. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. Bye for now.